Hello, happy cold day outside. I received an email again from a friend and her name is Maria Yonan. And she has two questions. The first one is for Dialux Evo first because she has two questions. One is for Dialux Evo and one for Dialux. For Dialux Evo, I want to know how to do facade lighting effect by Dialux Evo by importing 3ds file or 3d max because I can build a project if it is simple architecture design like this link which this link is like my <laughs> video okay but what if the design was a little complicated like this link <laughs> and again it's my video and see yeah so that question should I have to build all of it again? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. For question number two, I want to know something when I make a render by POV for exterior shots. It will be very dark because of it, I didn't have any lighting source around. If there's a way to render shots by better way. I, s I, I remember I sent you an email regarding that. I remember I sent you these images. These images is from the Dialux regular. This is the render mode and this is the V-Ray mode. <coughs> to answer the question, I give you a sample shots where I created a wall showing the sky just to have a background on it. Alright? So for question number one again, let's go back. So you have really a big problem with your 3D file. Um, I can say that Dialux Evo right now is prone to crashing. It means that if we loaded so much 3D objects, it will crash. And I always experience that. So just be patient and um, maybe soon Dialux Evo or these Dialux people will uh, come up with a solution and um, we can have a nice software coming up. A nice one, a free one. Alright, so... For your first question, by importing 3D Max and building it, I will show you some of my 3D file or Dialux Evo file which I imported the 3D file. Okay? So, okay, for your first question, Dialux Evo, about the 3D files, I would like to show you one of my project. This is a mosque. And you can see here that some areas has been lit and some areas are not because it's not yet finished rendering because I, I keep on adding um, details on this one. This tower is a new one. And the first body, if you can see inside, you can see it here also, um, the interior inside. On, you can see also the interior inside in this um, window. All right. How can I <laughs> how can I explain it to you one by one? Okay. This tree, this tree you can see here. This is our 3D file. I got it from the sketch of a warehouse and I converted it into 3D file and then I imported it here. So it's a uh, from sketch up then converted into 3DS and then it becomes 3D file. Okay. So it's a 3D file. This one, this tree, this series of trees is a Dialux 3D. So it's a default 3D in Dialux Evo and in Dialux Regular. This man is also a 3D. Actually, it's a 2D, but looks 3D in uh, Dialux Evo, a default one. This tower is also a 3D, which is from SketchUp. You know why? Because you cannot create this 3D <laughs> in Dialux Evo. If you want to do it, you will need to create it one by one. It's very te tedious. So I would not suggest you to create it here in Dialux Evo. But if you are really persistent and <laughs> you really want to create it here, then it's okay. It's fine. So if you can see here, this detail is really nice because it's from SketchUp. So from SketchUp, 
if you know SketchUp, maybe because I keep on saying SketchUp and you don't know SketchUp. If you know SketchUp, then it's good. It's also a software where you can create um, 3D files or 3Ds. And then you can save the 3Ds into uh, that 3ds files or that dwg files that uh, AutoCAD 3ds and uh, 3d max file this one this dome is also from SketchUp uh, and then saved into that 3ds and then imported into um, Dialaxivo you can see here once I click it it comes to this area because it is now part of my collections so the dome is here and the mosques here there are so many other stuff here in my collections so you can see here if I will import this one I don't know this one okay it, see <laughs> okay what I did is um because I'm planning to put a window here so I created this um, SketchUp file in a series where I just oops I just copy the base this base and this tower <laughs> because I'm planning to put window here so that's why I save it like this I'm going to delete it now and then for the other parts for example uh, this arch is from Dalax Evo this one is also from Dalax Evo then this room or this hallway is created from Dialux Evo. I remember I created a video while doing this. If I can have it, I can show it to you. And um, yeah, maybe I can show it to you in the next video. And these parts, these are from Dialux Evo. Three, uh, the stairs. This dome is from SketchUp because it's really hard to design a 3D like this one in Dialex Evo. So whatever you can see like a complicated figure or complicated 3Ds, these are all from SketchUp and then imported, um, sorry, SketchUp then saved us 3Ds and then imported in Dialex Evo. Okay, so this is really a big file and if I will show you the rendered view of this one you can see here it's like this uh, so this is not finished see the dome is not yet here and then see I'm showing the light the recessed light here see the, the effect of the floodlights on the turret and also the up light here you can see here those there, there's also light from the inside so it's a nice effect of Dialux Evo so you can you can see the light from the inside and also from the outside and see the light from the inside you can see here in the window and the up lighters are here 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 I think I need to show you the final output of the design unfortunately it's not here in my desktop but I will show it to you in my next video and um, another thing is here you can see some details here but it's not <laughs> it's not 3d anymore this is a texture I imported the texture if you can come here pick material you can see it's not picking yeah see you can see here that this is an image I just put it here this is from the uh, CAD file because you know I cannot uh, create this one maybe uh, of course I can do it in, in, in SketchUp also but it's really time consuming so what I did is I put it in a JPEG file and then saved as a texture so you can also do that see it's here it's a texture already but if you render it it will become a similar one it looks like it's it looks like 3d also but of course you cannot create shadow on this edges or in the grooves or in the uh, details so but it's fine as long as you create a nice light and uh, you show the total image of the project it's okay 
I think. <laughs> but the client likes it, so I think it's okay. So uh, yeah, on my next, see, you can see also her the toilet in the, that's really nice. This is really nice, Excite this is really exciting about Dallas Evo. You can see the inside light and the outside light combined. See, you can see the toilet here and see the effect of the light, the green LED to the wall. And I have here also the texture. This is a texture, but if you, if you can see in the, the CAD file, it's like a screen, but I created it as a texture. But still, the effect is, is okay. And you can see also here. And also the whole corridor you can see here. So, yeah, it looks good. And um, I, this project has been approved, and I'm so happy about it because they love it. So we get some income in my design. <laughs> Good thing about it. Um, so yeah, and my next video, I will show you how I did it, all of it. I need to, of course, to select um, some areas. I cannot, I cannot show you everything how I did it because it's time consuming and it really takes time to, to build it. I Maybe I took two days to create this 3D. Yeah, I keep on uh, pro I, I keep on analyzing what light to be used. I keep on thinking what technique to do it to create a 3D like this. I tried to import the 3D file because this project has 3D file but it keeps on crashing. So what I did is I, I built it uh, one by one again. And then I selected some areas like this dome and uh, turret. Those areas that has details which needs to be highlighted. Um, I created it in, it in SketchUp and then the rest is in Dialogs. So yeah, I hope you like this project and uh, on the next video I will show you some part of it I mean how I did it part by part of it okay so yep and wait for my next video bye